Inclusion. Uh, this is a lecture for the One School for All module um, by Andrew Thomas at S4 University College as part of the Nordic Citizenship Education Programme. So welcome, this is our first lecture for One School for All. Um, I'm going to talk very briefly about inclusion, uh, which is a, a really key term for the whole module. Um, it's a, it's a, it's a, a tempting word. It's it's a seductive word because uh, because no one's against it, um, and it's been and, and in modern and more recent um, special needs education literature, people have been arguing that we need to talk more about inclusion and less about integration. Um, so so it's the opposite of exclusion, and exclusion is bad. Um, but opposite opposites are curious things. Um, if you are to be asked, uh, would you like your children fried or raw? You'd definitely say raw, but you'd be uncomfortable with the question, right? So you shouldn't necessarily think that just because we are against exclusion, that it means that we're that we're for inclusion. We need to interrogate more. Um, what are the terms of inclusion? This was um, illustrated very clearly to me when I was. Um, well, in the past few years, um, uh, when I celebrate the 17th of May, which is the Norwegian National Day, um, and I'm English, so um, Norwegian National Day isn't very important for me. Um, I'm not. Uh, I would have been very happy for Norway to continue to be part of Denmark. It doesn't bother me that much. Um, but on, on the 17th of May, I celebrate, and my children eat lots of sausages and ice cream and things. Um, and people come up to me, and they worry that I don't have a Norwegian flag on. And some people actually physically kind of try to put a Norwegian flag on me or give me a Norwegian flag or, or try to pin something on my lapel or something. And, and I, they don't quite understand that the Norwegian flag isn't actually my flag. The funny thing is, they're doing this for moral reasons. They're trying to include me. They, they do this because they love me. They don't do this because they're trying to force me to be different than I am. It's just that, that this, is, this is the natural thing to, to bring everybody along um, in, in the celebration. But it's problematic, yeah? So moral things aren't always, uh, um, aren't, aren't, we can't always trust our moral, instinct, in, our moral instincts. There is a framework to inclusion, um, and a framework that almost uh, always, in, in so many spheres, um, in, and, and in most countries, um, is, um, is used. And the framework is basically when there is somebody that you want to include, um, first of all, you need to know everything about them. You need to know um, who they are, what they're like, if there's anything wrong with them, of course. Because if, the, if you're asking about including someone, the implication is that they are not already part of this established group. So there's something wrong with them. There is a problem. And once you've identified that problem, the reason they're not part of the group, um, then you can transfer the problem to another um, sphere of influence, which is, say, where are we going to put them? What are we going to do with them? And basically, most literature in the um, in in this field of inclusion, um, it can be filed into one of these two um, fields. Is it a, is it knowledge about children, um, or is it how can we adapt education so as to include them? And that's two completely different questions. Yeah, uh, one of them doesn't necessarily lead to the other, and and there's a big effort to try and connect them. We may know that um, that you are I don't know hard of hearing um, or have some ticks or something like that, but that doesn't mean that we know um, exactly how to make a hearing aid. Uh, that doesn't know. Uh, that doesn't mean we know how to um, how to teach you maths. Yeah. So these are these are two entirely different questions, and often one follows from the other, but not always. And, and like I say, that's 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 two questions, and and the impl implication generally is that you need to do both of those things. Um, there's no point in doing some adaptation unless you actually know if this person falls into this box that you're very good at adapting um, within. So. Um, there are um, we've got an issue of inclusion or exclusion. We need to not trust this this dichotomy. There is the issue of inclusion is um, is a moral thing, but that sometimes will um, include people in things that they don't necessarily want to be included into. Um, and then there's this framework that um, that seems to um, occur again and again in both education and society. There must be more ways of organising our society. There must be more ways of doing inclusion. So when we get to the lesson, we will be looking at um, the Foucault literature um, on on our course description um, and two models that that pre-existed our current um, system, and that is how do we how do towns deal with leprosy, and how do towns deal with the plague.